Hi everyone, I am Sara and this is Foundations of Farsi. Here we're going to learn the most important concepts, constructions and systems of the language to build a solid foundation for Persian communication. The first verb we're going to work with in this series is budan to be. One of the main uses of budan in our daily interactions is to describe ourselves and the world around us. We will use it first in Unit 1 of our Communication-Focused Persian course to talk about who we are, where we're from, and what we do, and we will get back to it later on throughout the course for different types of description. But first, let's see how we can form it for the simple present tense in spoken Persian. I am in Persian is man hastam. You are is to hasti. She, he, or it is, is un, e. We are, is ma, hastim. You are, is shoma, hastin. And they are, is una, hastan. And now the negative forms. I am not, is man, nistam. You are not, is to, nisti. She, he, or it is not, is un, nist. We are not, is ma, nistim. You are not, is shoma, nistin. And they are not, is una, nistan. Alright, now let's put our verbs in context to see how they work. If I want to say, I am Sara in Persian, I would say, man, Sara hastam. For I am Iranian, I would say, man, Irani hastam. And I am a teacher, would be, man, muallem hastam. Now you might be wondering why we are putting our verbs at the end of the sentence. This is because Persian is an SOV language. This means that we normally begin our sentences with the subject, end them with the verb, and anything else goes in between. This word order can be challenging at first, but the good news is that it is one of the most consistent features of Persian. All types of sentences in Persian follow the same basic word order, whether we're making a statement or asking a question. Let's see how this works. You remember that I am Sara in Persian is man Sara hastam. I am Iranian is man Irani hastam and I am a teacher is man muallem hastam. All statements. Now let's ask a question. If I want to ask are you Maryam, I would begin with the subject which is to, you. I would end with the verb again which here is hasti, are, and I would put the name Maryam in between. To Maryam Hasti. So the same basic word order works for statements as well as questions. Alright, now let's practice more. The question word Kojai in Persian is where from. So how can we ask where are you from? To Kojai Hasti. And we use the phrase Chekare to ask about people's jobs. So how can we ask, what do you do? To chekare hasti. Now let's practice with the third person singular, un, e. He, she, it, is. Take a look at the sentences in Persian and English and tell me how we can say he is Bahram, he is from Ahvaz, and he is an employee. We would say un bahrame, un ahvaziye, un karmande. Now the first person plural, ma hastim, we are. How can we form the statements we are Vida and Jahan, we are from Tehran, and we are athletes? ما ویدا و جهان هستیم. ما تهرانی هستیم. ما ورزشکار هستیم. 
Now the second person plural or formal Shoma Hastin. How can we ask are you Aida and Sohrab? Are you from the north? And are you university students? Shoma Aida wo Sohrab Hastin. Shoma Shomali Hastin. Shoma Danishju Hastin. And finally, the third person plural in the affirmative. Una hastan. Take a look at the vocabulary and tell me how we can ask who are they? Where are they from? And what do they do? Una ki hastan. Una kojai hastan. Una chekare hastan. And now the negative forms. You already know that I am not in Persian is man nistam. So if I want to say I am not aba, I would start with the subject man, I would end with the verb nistam, and I would put aba in between and would say man aba nistam. Following the same word order, if I want to say I am not from India, I would say man hindi nistam. And if I want to say I am not a lawyer, I would say man vakil nistam. Now how can we ask aren't you yalda? Aren't you Canadian? And aren't you an actress? We would ask to yalda nisti, to kanadai nisti. And to bazigar nisti. And how can we say he is not Farzad? He is not from Tabriz. And he is not a driver. We would say he is. Oh. <laughs> we would say un Farzad nist. Un Tabrizi nist. Un ranande nist. Now let's form the sentences. We are not Puya and Ghazal. We are not from Bushehr. We are not engineers. Ma Puya o Ghazal nistim. Ma Bushehri nistim. Ma Mohandes nistim. Now let's ask, aren't you Hamun and Kusha? Aren't you from the south? And aren't you architects? Shoma Hamun o Kusha nistin? Shoma Jonubi nistin? Shoma Memar nistin? And finally, let's say they are not Shahab and Ramin. They are not from Esfahan. They are not cooks. Una Shahab o Ramin nistan. Una Esfahani nistan. Una Ashpaz nistan. All right, now the contracted forms. Udan is the only verb in Persian that has contracted forms. And those forms are only available for the affirmative version of the verb. If we take away the hast part of the verb Budan, what we're left with is the contracted form of the verb. Since Budan is an irregular verb, the third person singular E does not follow the same pattern. Let's take a look. You already know that I am in Persian is man hastam. So the contracted form I'm is manam. And the contracted form of to hasti, you are, is toi, you are. For ma hastim, we are, we have maim, we are. For shoma hastin, you are, we have shoma in. Your. And for una hastan, they are, we have una an, there. 
Now let's put our contracted forms in context to see how they work. If I am Davut, is man Davut hastam with the full form of the verb? What is I'm Davut with the short form of the verb? Man Davudam. And what is the contracted form of to sam hasti? To sami. How about the contracted form for ma doktor hastim? Ma doktorim. And what do you think is the contracted form of shoma polis hastim? Shoma polisin. And finally, the contracted form of una mechanic hastan would be una mechanican. Perfect. Now you know how to use budan to talk about who you are, where you're from, and what you do. Have fun with your Persian and see you soon.